next phase is having the nearly equally divided Senate pass that piece of legislation. News 11 Jacqueline Aguilar spoke with locals about this possible upcoming bill. If codified into law, the Respect for Marriage Act would give same-sex and interracial marriages the same authority that heterosexual marriages have now. The bill repeals provisions that do not require states to recognize same-sex marriages. The Respect for Marriage Act would make same-sex and interracial marriages have the same authority as heterosexual marriages at the federal level. The bill was introduced by Democratic Representative Jerry Nadler of New York, the chair of the House Judiciary Committee. One local says the government needs to leave people alone and let them be who they want to be. You can't help who you fall in love with, whether you're gay, straight, black, white. With a 50 to 48 divided Senate party with two independents could mean the bill stops there. But if passed, the bill would create additional legal protections for married couples to prevent discrimination, whether based on sex, race, ethnicity, and more. To pass in the Senate would mean that 10 Republican senators would have to join all Democrats to break a filibuster. Another local believes that although this doesn't affect her personally, people should be able to do what they please. I do believe it should be into law because I believe everybody is equal and everybody should have a right to what they say, love who you love. A few GOP senators are showing their support to codify same-sex and interracial marriages, with a surprising number of Republicans helping pass the Respect for Marriage Act. Volker says the government is too involved. And why should the government or the states have any say in how you live your life? Leave it. The effort in making states recognize same-sex marriages leaves many feeling like the 2015 ruling is at risk after Justice Clarence Thomas said all landmark cases should be reconsidered. Reporting in studio, I'm Jacqueline Aguilar, News 11.